Let me make something clear right off the bat. This is not a spider army versus this, that, and the other sort of video, folks. It is also not a video that's actually going to go oh so optimal in the way to do every single boss fight with said armies, or in this particular case, the nurse spiders, of course. No, 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 no. This here video is half a proof of concept, as well as half a guide on how to actually start befriending nurse spiders as soon as possible, mind you. The rest of that nonsense will come another day, I think. So then, let's get to it, yes? Yes. Well, after we obtain the recipe for the nurse switcher doodles, of course. And herein lies our first hurdle, everyone. And it is seemingly a pretty big one, as the only thing that's unlocking this is the process of befriending a nurse spider that spawns from a spider queen and a spider queen alone. Which is a mob that also takes many days to even consider being a thing, unless some set pieces are involved. So yeah, we've got a problem. But don't fret, however as there is actually an easy solution, and it's going to involve a simple razor here, and a dead friend. Or heck, maybe even a dead you. Trust me, it'll make sense in a minute. But what's that razor for, Beard? Well, Weber's rework has made it to where Weber himself can now shave Dens down a level for Silk and population control, so I suggest you start doing so as early as possible. As not only do you get one silk per shaving, a fully shaved den drops two additional pieces of silk to boot. So expect at least three silk each and every time you do this for but tier one dens. Now, the spiders leaving said dens won't be too happy about this, but just use Weber's new shoe box and it'll be like nothing even happened. Make notes. Now proceed to use all this newly accumulated silk in combination with an older Weber perk that allows for him to upgrade dens from tier to tier using five silk each. And suddenly, the prospect of having to wait out the growth timers of both the den itself and a spider queen is no more. Well, half no more anyways, as it will still take roughly 16 days for a potential spider queen to actually spawn from a tier three den. But remember that dead friend I mentioned? Yeah, you might want to give him a call. That, or just get brutally murdered yourself. And why is that? Well, cause haunting tier 3 spider dens offers us a 10% chance to spawn a spider queen without having to wait out them 16 days I mentioned. So now we're getting somewhere. So revive your sorry self and engage in combat with this new queen as combat is the only way that we'll see a nurse spider fall out of her butts and be smart about it by actually de aggering the nurse that does come with the shoe box immediately. Now nurses have a 22.5% chance to spawn from a queen, so hopefully she gives you one pretty quick, otherwise you'll just have to kill the other minions until she does so. But feed this nurse spider some meat and boom! There's your nurse switcher doodle a heck of a lot faster than having to wait 16 plus days at the least. Well, that's true, but it's actually not true. Cause sure you have the craft, but the stuff needed to make that craft, let alone a lot of it, won't be as easy, especially early on. The ash will be, as all we have to do is burn a stack of something we don't bloody want anymore, and we'll get tons of the stuff. And by the by, don't forget that healing clops also cost honey and ash at the end of the day. But yeah, that honey. Unless you're okay with destroying many beehives in the early days, we really only have two options for quick and bountiful sweetness. An actual, half-decent honey farm set up as early as possible, or better yet, taking part in the process of continuously hammering Bee Queen's honey patch until the honey that's actually pouring out of it disappears, only to stop right before spawning her in herself, as the actual honey patch should regenerate its honey stages quite quickly, so if we wait for it to start to show lots of honey again, we can just hammer the patch over and over and over again for guaranteed honey. Well, 49% chance per swing guaranteed, but still, you get the idea. Good luck. So now all you need is either a ton of spiders to feed, which should be made even easier nowadays because Weber has his webby whistle in his arsenal, or just a ton of switcher duels in general in replace of all that meat, because let's remember now, a very recent hotfix made it to where switcher duels themselves can befriend spiders immediately. 
So make note and be smart about things. But enough faffing about. Proof of concept time. Just how good are nurse spiders? Well, I see no reason to drag this out. They're pretty freaking good, folks. Not in all cases, mind you, but those are the cases where the rest of the army is gonna help out. But we'll be talking about that another day. In sticking with the idea of nurse spiders alone then, we might honestly be able to sit here and just say goodbye to using a ton of healing foods for fights, folks. Seriously, this Deerclops fight only has four nurse spiders up against it, and by the time I ended the fight, I was still sitting at 148 health. Just imagine if I used better armor for Pete's sake. Or heck, if I just had lots of nurses for that matter. And by lots, I really only mean 10 to 11, which is not unreasonable as we've just learned. Taking into account that Clopsy is a multi-target attacker with decent damage, therefore the spiders would have to care for themselves as much as us, I'd say that they pass the immediate test with flying colors. Like, without breaking a sweat past, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, they're good. Amazing, in fact, but they do have their limits. And I'm not talking nurse spiders either. Temper your expectations for spiders in general, folks, and I think you're gonna enjoy this rework far more for what it is, if you know what I mean. That said, throw enough of the arachnids at anything, and of course they're gonna leave their mark. Even on Berger here. Now, it's tough to actually tank Berger because you bloody can't. So unless you're going in for the occasional hit and or using lots of ranged weapons, it's gonna be up to the spiders mostly. And heck, even if you are helping, his attacks are just gonna hit everything regardless. So again, you're not really gonna do anything to him unless you have a crap ton of spiders, including nurses. They'll last longer, of course, but they'll still eventually lose. You need the numbers. All that said, they still shine bright against many of the big bads in this game. Even some of the biggest bads out there, like the heavy hitting ancient Guardian, for example. Now the Guardian deals a whopping 100 damage per hit, but a group of only 10 or so nurse spiders makes all that pain go away. Heck, makes it seems like it didn't even happen. And I'd be willing to bet that you can do with but seven to eight nurses and still be okay, depending on your armor situation, of course. But let's note how I'm using just the basic wood armor for all of this. Again, folks, I'm not here to optimize spider plays. I'm just here to show you why nurse spiders should be your new go-to, no matter your play, if you know what I mean. Take, for example, this fight with the big bad dragonfly. I only have five nurse spiders, everybody. Five. Yeah, sure, you'll need more if you're going for stupid strats like no armor shindigs, but normal players using normal methods will see but five nurses, keeping them practically fully healed throughout the entire flippin' fights. Be sure to use your webby whistle during her spawning phase as to keep your nurses nearby, of course, but you'll be golden regardless. Bye-bye having to prepare healing foods, apparently. Seriously, it's kind of crazy to even say that out loud, but it's kind of true, and again, they have their limits, but barely. Bee Queen is a butthead and will force spiders to drop their loyalty. However, even with a limited amount by my side for this initial fight, I noticed the potential immediately. Do things come dust to keep spiders in the game and just add to the army even? And Bee Queen's gonna fall all the same, I think. But have fun trying. Folks, I could be here all day detailing the ins and outs of each and every bout in this game with nurse spiders in play, but that's not my goal. Yes, of course they're going to do very well against single target attackers like Moose Goose, Ant Lion, you get the picture. Of course more numbers are going to eventually overwhelm most anything. Even Bee Queen, Claws perhaps, you can do Toadstool, although I'm not too sure about that one, Fuel Weaver, blah blah blah. I just wanted to prove just how easy it could be to get nurses early and see how they could potentially reduce and or potentially completely eliminate healing foods in certain scenarios. And I think we did so, folks. I planted the seed. The rest of the fun will be up to you. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.